Keep going. Is that your car? Yeah. Oh Dude, no. The security guard's waiting next to my car. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning. Fox fam. Hey, good morning, Fox fam. Anyways, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So, currently, it is like 12 p.m. in the afternoon, and uh, let me show you guys something. So, look. Oh, I know. This is really, really weird. Usually, I wake up a lot earlier. It's 12.30 right now. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but basically, last night, I went to bed at like 4 in the morning, and I made sure I set myself all these alarms, right? So, right before I went to bed, I went like this. I set all these alarms all the way up until 9.30. Literally, I swear to you guys, I set all these alarms. Not a joke. This morning, my mom comes into my room and she's like, Hey, it's 12 o'clock, um, did you, did you post your video? I woke up and I was like, what? I was so confused, I was like, wait, what time is it? It's like 12.15 and I was so confused. I, I was like, I swear I set like 25 alarms. Then I woke up, I went on my phone, and for some reason, all of these were all unchecked. Sleepy and Grumpy Tanner must have woken up at 9 o'clock when all these alarms went off, went through them individually, turned them all off, and then fell back asleep. It's 12 o'clock. I wasted half the day. Like, no, I woke up and I'm a little bummed. I'm not going to lie, so I'm going to go to Jake's. You guys, I literally have a problem. Like, if you just go through my alarms, I don't know if you guys do this, but these are my alarms. I just have so many. Anyways, the important thing is, is we are here now. All right, see you there. Kirby getting a haircut today. Kirby's getting a haircut today. What are you doing today? Uh, going to work. Going to work, going to work, selling houses, getting haircuts, G7X isn't focusing. Yeah, mom, that's my Honda out there. Oh my God. What do you think about that? Nah, it's a hunk, yeah, a hunk in a good way. Like, it's sexy. It's like it's, my new it's car. Hunky, it's kind of like a big deal. It's because like Honda is right there. We literally drove that home from Temecula yesterday. You're sick? Yeah. What happened? I don't well. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. What can I do? We come. <laughs> Maybe later. I just said it for the vlog. What? So you don't actually want me to come over? <laughs> You're a sly fox, you. I'm hanging up. She is so sneaky. She is so sneaky. She hung up before me. Look at this household. We have T-Fox jet tags. T-Fox jet tags on T-Fox jet tags. We have the GTR one right here. And then me and my mom are both rocking the FRS one. And uh, speaking of the FRS, Kirby, you enjoy your haircut. I'm going to Jake Angelus' house. I love you. I know the vlog missed you. Keep grinding, okay? Oh my god, these jeans are a little bit excessive. So I always go through random little tiny phases of wearing different clothing. And if you guys remember, like, about two weeks ago, I was wearing joggers, like, every single day because they're, like, the most comfy thing. And they have zippers on the pockets, so it's just convenient. And now I'm kind of wearing jeans again. And... And these are like my old jeans from when I when I thought I was a little Hollywood kid. Dang, I really just did that. I didn't film it, but I stalled. My mom parked my car in first gear. Didn't realize it. I was too focused on the vlog and I just stalled, man. I just stalled, I'm not gonna lie. A few moments later. LAPD. Go on. <laughs> Show us what's up. You've been working on music for how long now, Jake? It's your mind like it's made just for me. Yeah, it's your mind, it was meant to be. Thank you. So, Jake, uh, tell us, give us an update, bro. Oh, let me tell you guys, right? All this right. is Jake, okay? If you guys don't know Jake, this Jake. is my best friend. We started vlogging together, mm -hmm. and you've been uh, kind of easing away from YouTube, and you've, you want to follow your dreams as a musician. Not easing away from YouTube, just doing covers and stuff. So, so but, but you're going to be, uh, you're gonna be a famous singer. I want to I wanna be a, big be a singer. musician. So tell us, how's that going? What's, what's, so what's it's, happening? It's you got going good. I got piano lessons. I got vocal lessons. I got everything. And you working like, on an album? Yeah, I'm, I'm literally like training super hard and then releasing an album. And it's, well, Look at this guy. I, I'm doing a single first. That's that, good. That's gonna get literally guys like this is like the grind is real every time I hit Jacob like every single day I swear he's in his room either recording or he's in <laughs> LA like at a music lesson Okay now moving on from that we're going to the mall and then we're gonna do some abandoned things. Here we go Yo, dude, and our first vlog was filmed in here. My first ever vlog was filmed in this very apartment. Okay, 
debating whether we should go vlog. <laughs> Deba yeah, seriously, literally, in this very apartment, me and Jake were debating at like four in the morning because we were going to Bakersfield. We were like, should we vlog? Should we do it? I don't know. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just go. I'm gonna do a flashback. Are we gonna vlog? F should we? We could. We should. We could just, but it won't be like Rocco's crazy family life, but it will be better. Yeah, let's do it. Jake, I swear to God, before you go, I know you're gonna do a bride flip. And because I was gonna tell you to do the first trick of the day, and I was gonna tell you to bride drop into that. Really? I swear to God, are you gonna, was that what you planned to do? Uh, no, I think I'm just gonna do this. You lying, mother. <laughs> T Fox, man, oh my God, it's gold! I'm running! <laughs> Oh, okay, it's a good day. You did a flip on the nipple. Hey, what are you doing in my car, man? Hey, get out of here. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Teriyaki chicken, boys. This is also the mall that I'm uh, actually banned from for life. And when we pulled in, the security guard was looking at us all funny. Hopefully my car's all good. We're gonna go eat at the car yeah. <laughs> because I'm worried. I'm literally worried. The security guard followed us up the stairs and was just giving me a death look. I think she remembers me. Also, actually, if you remember that video, I'm pretty sure the mall got it removed. Keep going. Is that your car? Yeah. Oh Dude, no. The security guard's waiting next to my car. Yeah. Are you actually banned? Yeah, I told you that, bro. Look, security guard's at my car. I told you, bro. There's two of them. Okay, I don't know what's going down right now. There's two security guards out. Don't not film. What do you mean? Oh. Good to see them again. This thing's dripping so much. Don't come back. <laughs> All right, I'm, I apologize for that. Come back. So while me and Jake were eating in the car, we got kicked out once again. The lady came back and made it clear that we had to leave. Um, again, I don't want to give any disrespect to security guards. Uh, we just had a problem from a long time ago. Like a few months ago, we filmed a video where we were like skiing through the mud. It was super, super funny video. Security guard at the mall actually got the video removed uh, and then they obviously remembered my car and remembered my face and they told us that we could not come back. Still banned from the mall, so uh, we blurred the faces this time so there's no problems anymore. But again, I don't want to give any disrespect to security guards, like respect what they do. But yeah, that's what that's what we're doing right now. So now we're uh, we're at a golf course. We're literally just like across the street we from the mall. We got a better view. So. We got a better view. This is much better. So we're gonna finish eating our chicken and then I think we're gonna go to an abandoned place. I've never seen one of these. It's like a convertible 300 ZX, that's super cool. <laughs> Here we are ladies and gentlemen me and Jake just left them all we were originally gonna go try to find like an abandoned place to go to because I was reading some comments on a vlog a few days ago and a lot of you guys like missed those sort of videos But um, we looked up different places all we could really find was like the phase rug tunnel or like this little abandoned house And I've done that so many times so we figured we'd save that for a better day when there's something more exciting But uh, for now you guys saw at the mall. We just were at the mall. We did all that stuff So now Jake when's the last time you saw Guaxilla actually or sorry Barbie Zilla? Um... Has it been a minute? Oh gosh. You got a FaceTime? You got something to do? I, no, FaceTime was happening. I think the last time I saw it was here. Like here. ages ago though. We're at ACG right now. I want to give you guys like a full update on Guaxilla. Hey, you woke up feeling blessed. Yeah. We ain't worrying about them checks. Hey, I'm just trying to do my best. Yeah. But I woke up feeling blessed. Yeah. There she is. I don't remember the last time I vlogged here. I came here a few days ago, but I think that was in the period when I wasn't really filming a few videos. So we just came here to kind of get an update on it. It really says alpha. I know. Oh, this that's is a hinting, monster. hinting, you guys don't know what's happening. ACG is pretty much the GTR spot of San Diego. As you can see, there's one, two, two over there, another one here, another one back there. There's just GTRs everywhere. And of course, mine sticks out like a sore thumb out of all these because it's just bright pink. It's just dead right now. You could get in there. You could, could. you could potentially get in there. I could be in the GTR. So we're debating. I, I don't want to be the one that messes up, so I think you should get in it. No, I kind of want to get in the, in the, just to say I did. Oh, oh. 
Oh, this is sketchy as hell. I'm inside of my GTI right now. <laughs> When's the next time you're gonna be inside your GTI? Yo, what's up, guys? MTV Cribs, we chilling out here in hey. Barbiezilla. Well, basically, I mean, you guys haven't really seen the inside of my house lately, but yeah, uh, we're expanding currently. You know, uh, I actually sleep down there. That's yeah. The kitchen's over here. Oh, the kitchen's right but here. But yeah, mostly when I sleep, I just kind of, you know, just crouch. All right, so we got TTR. Oh my gosh, this one is sexy. Let me pop the hood on this. Oh, oh, damn, this is clean. Hey, hey, man, can you rev it? Can you can you give it a rev? <laughs> That sounds good, bro! <laughs> oh, you just broke everything. Your GTR is gone. Guys, this is like actually insane. I'm literally standing inside of my car. James, when you're watching this, sorry if I stressed you out. I promise I'm being very, very careful. Um, I don't know what we just did, but this is a little life update on Barbiezilla, aka Guaxilla. Until Guaxilla 2.0 comes back, the GTR will be here. Uh, we got a lot of big stuff planned here. Then it will head to another shop, which will probably take another two, three, maybe four weeks, and then it's off to SC Wrap. And then um, some very, very big stuff, guys. I cannot wait for this car to be done. It still looks the same as it did like a month ago. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be a lot of things different. Obviously, their pink wrap's still on there, but I promise you guys, in like one month, you guys will not recognize this car. All right, so the second part, we have my motor in pieces. I was talking about that a second ago. There's a lot, there's too many GTR motors here, but um, we're pretty sure this is mine, actually, now that I think about it. Mine was completely in pieces. If this is mine from last time, then um, it's a lot more reconstructed than it was. So they're not putting a new motor in? No, they just they just do stuff to the current room again. I didn't put that in because I sound so <laughs> stupid to car people because I don't know anything about this. No, you don't sound <laughs> stupid. I'm learning. You don't sound stupid. You just like didn't. I'm dude. I don't act. <laughs> Keep in mind, both me and Jake, we're not acting like we like know every part. This is the fluctuator. This is what. <laughs> this is what does the fuel. The, the, the fuel flow. You know. The, you know about the fuel flow, right? Cool. Yeah. This is how you want to intricate the intakes really? and make the air cold again. That way, you know the the boost, all mm. the pounds, they're they're pushing. Oh. Right. The rods. So you don't blow a rod. You know. The rods. <laughs> potentially, potentially. potentially Anyways, all jokes aside, this is uh, pretty much where they do all of the magic and make cars really, really fast inside of here, guys. And that's the heart of Guaxilla, we think. <laughs> Hopefully. Otherwise, it could be that one, it could be that one, it could be that one. Dr. Jake, wh what do we have here? Oh, we have a newborn baby, it seems the least. This one's about two weeks old. We're gonna pop them down. A, a, new, a newborn two week old baby. Yeah. That looks like an umbilical cord. Okay. It does. Okay, maybe don't touch all this stuff. But but pretend, it, that's probably what it's for, honestly. Honestly. Now that. Finally, some alone time with my motor. <laughs> oh, baby. Well, I think that was a pretty good update on, on everything, really. Dude, I feel like we're having like a normal day like we used to, like two years yeah. ago. Like, this is me and Jake. Two years ago, we first started vlogging. We just got our license. We just mob around, go do a bunch of fun stuff. Went to the mall, got kicked out of the mall. And then now we're here checking out the cars, having a good day. I know a lot of you guys were worried about me like not scootering anymore, but ever since we built the mini ramp inside of the Tennessee factory, we've all been riding so much. My trunk is a mess. My trunk is an actual mess. Do you have grip tape on your bars? I might have a little bit. Tell us the reason. Uh, you know, I just wanted to add that little extra style point. You feel that? Alright, let's get it. Okay, calling the shots. I got a trick for you. I don't know if you can do it. Alright, what I want you to do, hop up on this ledge, stall that fakie cab right off the curb. Get it. Get it. First try! No, you didn't! Literally first try. Alright, peace out. Yeah, later, man. Hey, look out for the barbed wire. Keep in mind, guys, I do not condone not riding a T-Fox deck. However, wow. this scooter does, in fact, have T-Fox wheels. You know, it's just T-Fox scooters are the safest and the best and the highest quality. So just keep that in mind, kids, if you if you want to get into scootering. I call you. You know what? I want to see you jump this gap and then bar spin this entire gap. Okay, kick this hit. If you do that, I'll give you seven million pesos. Seven million pesos. Let's go, baby. Jumps, kickles. Ah! Oh! There's a way. Too high, you don't get enough speed. Man, man, man. <laughs> Tanner's calling his own sets now. Yeah, because Jake couldn't give me it. I couldn't give him a good one. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Ah! Sushi cramp fried was chicken. Very dirty. Remember, kids, if you do a dirty trick, you gotta get back up. Do it cleaner. Yes. Because that was only first try, okay? It's not, you know, no one's perfect. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. 
Don't let your dreams just stop. Oh my gosh, Tanner. Where have you been and where it's do so you easy, go? Man. Hey, Justin, you got this. Let's go, baby, for the shrimp fried rice. Kick, listen, you're done. Out of bounds, baby. It doesn't even matter. Out of bounds, baby. Can we get a crowd? Like, what's going on here? Try for the boys. Oh my gosh. Man, it's like a try, bro. Here. We don't need it. Yeah, let's leave it. We might need the wheels. Actually, now I think about it. Should we grab the wheels and then just we leave? Take the wheels off. Okay. All right. Yo, I just got sent this. This is the craziest video I've ever seen. This, there's a, there's a plane, in the street, just driving. Just Maverick sent me that. Oh my God, Jake, you got way too excited. I just got out. So of So much excitement. Look at it. It's all over the floor. We're on our way to Mateo's house right now. And we saw this crazy car and I don't know what it is, but it's so cool. So I have to come snatch this for the vlog because that thing is crazy. I wonder what it is. I don't know if it's like a kit car. If anyone knows, please comment down below. Hmm, interesting. And look what we just found. Literally a block over. A perfect yellow 280Z. It's a funny story, my dad actually had a yellow 280Z when he was like my age. It, it runs in the family. Two hours later. Whoa, just like that, we are officially back at my house. And I actually just left Jake. Jake's at his house. But um, really quickly, I mentioned a golden egg earlier, and I know a lot of you guys are like, Tanner, what the f is a golden egg? I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can, that way you guys understand what the actual golden egg giveaway is. All right, rules are simple. We did this exact same giveaway a year ago, and everyone loved it. So here we are, once again, the next year, doing the same giveaway. It's very, very simple. You guys order a golden egg, you get three mystery items that are unreleased. That's right, no one else can buy them anywhere else on the T-Fox Brand website. It's only for you if you order this very egg. You crack open this egg, you take out your three items, there'll be a little tiny note card. You're gonna wanna look at this note card, and there's a number on it. And then at the end of this very month, we are going to raffle off a random number out of one of those little twisty machines. And you'll have your number and on the vlog you will see if you won and of course if I call your number You will be flown out to the Tennessee factory or I will fly to your house Whichever one we decide and I think the Tennessee factory is a lot of fun You will fly out to California just like Will did I think three days ago now that you guys have a better understanding of the actual golden egg Here it is and they are available now However supplies are limited so if you guys want to get yourself a golden egg There'll be a link down below or this is what it looks like on the website and uh, now you you guys understand anyways guys the shirt is off which means it is time to go to bed so I guess I will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to drop a fat thumbs up I also should probably keep it down because my mom's asleep anyways do not forget to get yourself a golden egg also on space station gaming we are giving away a ps4 today all you have to do is follow space station gaming on any social media space station gaming is my esports organization uh, it's super simple there'll be a link down below anyways guys peace out let's roll the fox Remember guys to subscribe to Tanner Fox, leave a like on the video and like all his videos, comment down below what you thought of the video, I thought it was great, and get some merch. Roll the outro. Black and Medusa when I come and scoop you, then I cut it up, stitch it like a suit, your boy I'm coming up, don't mess with losers, got a brand new beat from the best producers, ah, I do not play with these games, who me you'll catch the flames, regenerate, feel like coping with the fade, making the moves to get paid, ayy.